little bit ago uh, when we when we talk about the resurrection story and everything that we that we think about at this particular time of year at Easter, where do we fit into the story? We all fit in somewhere, and it, it's kind of you sort of plug yourself into it. Or, or we do we find ourselves one of the disciples that's been around Jesus so long? How many around have been around Jesus more than three years? How many of y'all had Jesus for like more than three years? Okay, so if we've been around it that long, how could they then fall away? How could they not understand? How could they fear? How could they drop out? How could Judas, of all people, do what he did after being three years right in the presence of Jesus? You know, we said, it'd be so much easier if I was alive when Jesus was, you know, was alive. And I could be right there and see it. Maybe that'd be easy to leave. How many of us find ourselves maybe in that crowd that welcomed Jesus this past week, <coughs> or what would have been the first of the week, as he came into Jerusalem, the triumphal entry? How many of us have been in that crowd, just shouting praises, we're happy, the king, the deliverer, the one that's going to bring us out from under the bondage of Rome? Let's get on this thing. How many of us would have found ourselves in that crowd? Just Hosanna, you know, thank you, Jesus, we're welcoming you. How many of us would have been in that crowd? And whoever of us would have been in that crowd may well have been in the crowd that was later on the week day of Easter. We can grow to a tree, can we not? How many of us are the ones that are just upset that Jesus is not here? Did Jesus really leave those yet? How many of us are, are confident that he's not here? As we put Jesus on trial in our own lives, can we not? Can we defy him and live with true self-seeking? Go ahead, make me a leader. Show me something that you can't do. How many of us have been there? How many of us have been in a group that we somehow take hurting very well? Sometimes we're fearful what's going to happen. But you were there. You were there in the same situation that I was. Even Jesus, how many of us are like him? We went and did what Jesus did. We went and did what Jesus did. You can be in those all kinds of places and you can fit in and you can sort of blend in. But there's another part to the story. And I don't know where you see yourself at in the story. I don't know where you can plug yourself in. There may be other places where you can plug yourself in one of the characters. But there's another place in the story that we can fit in. In fact, all of us can fit in. It's important that this time we celebrate the resurrection. It's important for us to realize, folks, the resurrection this morning, everything we're celebrating is not just about Jesus. What? You heard me. The resurrection, what we're talking about at Easter, is not entirely about Jesus. Do you realize that what we're talking about today, what we're celebrating today, is as much about each one of us? This is your day of victory. This is your day of hope. This is your day of resurrection. Because of Jesus, you are made in the story just like him. Somebody had to die, y'all. We got a video. Just let Rachel play it. See if you can figure out who that is.
deliver, set free, open blind eyes, open deaf ears, heal the lame and the leper. What, what has Jesus done? thought it was the people that set him free. No, 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 no. It was the Father. The Heavenly Father. When I look at this story, I realize who the rabbit really is. That's me. That's you. That's us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. like some people are better than others and that's why they're blessed but we can all come to the honest conclusion that it's God and it's God alone the greatest challenge is not your discipline your devotion your focus your greatest challenge is believing the gospel 
could it be that there's a God with a love so scandalous, so wide, so deep, so vast, so high, so expansive, so welcoming, so inclusive? Let me have your sin, son. When I give him my sin, when I stand in this empty space of forgiveness and acceptance, why Jesus walks off to the cross that I deserve. I see him, I see him walking to the post to be whipped. As I stand a free man, all the attention is turned now. And I feel the love of God saying, go son, live your life. I'll pay the price. When we get off thinking that we were going to set ourselves free.
today, just different consequences. This past week, a school in Africa was broke into by, by, by Isla ISIS, Islamic For those who said yes, boom, point blank, dead. Are you a Christian? Yes, kill. Are you a Christian? No. Are you a Christian? Yes, kill. Are you? No, no. And it went through that. And one by one, they saw what was happening to the ones that said yes, I am a Christian. Not once, not ten, but 149 times. Yes, I'm a Christian. Life of just one that made me one of the churches here that may turn to 500 or 